Welcome to Mimi's Math Channel. Today I'm going to discuss transformations of rational functions. So what you want to start with is actually looking at the function. And I've included this negative. Normally you won't see that. But if you do see a negative in front of your A, what that tells you is that you're going to have a vertical reflection over the x-axis. Even though it says vertical, you're going to think y-axis. But vertical, remember, it's going to go up and down. So that's the x-axis. All right, also A itself, the number that's going to be shown here, tells us whether or not it's going to be a vertical stretch or a shrink. Um, X minus H in the bottom, the H portion is going to tell us whether or not it's going to be a horizontal shift left or right. And it's always the opposite sign of what's shown. So if it were X plus four, then what would X have to be to make this equal zero? So it would be the opposite sign, negative four. For this one, which tells you that it will be going to the left. And then this one, um, plus K, that's just what's shown here in the function, but it could also be a negative. And that tells me that I'm gonna have a vertical shift either up or down. So let's, I have two examples. It's gonna be a really quick video. So I'm asked to describe the transformation for the following. And when I look at two, that represents my A. So that tells me what's gonna happen here. It's a vertical stretch. X minus four, I just happened to actually use an example similar to that a few minutes ago. What would X have to be to make this equal zero? And then that's gonna tell us whether or not we're going to go to the left or to the right. And then plus three tells us K, which is vertical shift up or down. So the way that I want you to write it in class is either to put a V for vertical or an H for horizontal in front of anything that you list as a transformation. So going in order, I see that my number two is gonna be vertical. And like I said, it's a stretch by a factor of two. I wanna be very specific. And then I have a horizontal shift, or you could say transfer, um, translation, it's fine. And again, that is this portion right here. What would X have to be to make this equal zero? Plus four, so that means I'm gonna go to the right. So horizontal shift, the right by four units. Or something to that effect. And then over here, this is my K, and K tells me that I'm gonna have a vertical shift up or down, and it's gonna be up because there's a plus sign. So up three units. So what I do want to say is the verticals are the ones that, well, the only thing that's going to be horizontal is what's attached to the X. That's what's going left and right. Everything else is attached to this F of X, which is Y, so therefore it has vertical in front of it. And this is the last example. I have a negative this time, so that tells me I'm going to have a vertical reflection over the X axis. And then at the bottom, I just simply have an X, so I wouldn't have any type of transformation. It didn't move left or right. And then the last transformation that I see is a negative five. That tells me that I'm going to have a vertical shift or translation down this time because it's negative five units. So that is how you transform rational functions. Okay. Have a great day. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Subscribe.